Unit 10, Section 4, the impact of technological developments after World War II. Previous section we talked about the space race with the Soviet Union, their development of Sputnik, President Eisenhower's response with NASA. Today we're going to talk about the development of a very important technology for the 20th century, and that was the personal computer. The microchip, although probably not invented in the United States, was perfected in the United States in the Silicon Valley out in California. And the computer, however, was first used by our own government during World War II. And one of the first supercomputers used by our government was called ENIAC, E-N-I-A-C. And it was used to compute firing coordinates for artillery during World War II. So it was used for math. Um, eventually, engineers in the computing field have developed the ability to network computers together and then communicate by computer. And today, that's why where we have networks and where we can communicate all over the world through the internet. Uh, the first desktop commercial computer sold was by IBM and it was called the Programma 101. And here's a picture of the Programma 101 which was basically uh, a fancy calculator. Uh, but it was the beginning of individuals at home being able to use the power of computers. Also during World War II, technology uh, was brought forth to allow soldiers to communicate on the battlefield and this technology eventually led to uh, cellular technology in the United States beginning with like 0G and 1G and 2G and 3G and all the way up to uh, 5G in certain parts of the country today. This is an early cellular telephone that was used a lot larger, bulkier than today's phones. The evolution of the cell phone has seen many changes. Uh, really cellular, phone, cellular technology began in the United States in the 1980s um, with Motorola, as the picture I just showed you. And then from this chart, you can see how it has evolved over time to 2007, uh, Apple's version of uh, the iPhone. This last picture shows you the, the technology as it existed during World War II for soldiers to be able to communicate on the battlefield. Last in this section is the importance of air conditioning. And I think if you live in the South, there's, you know, there's a duh factor to this. But uh, the air conditioning development of it in the uh, late 20th century enabled the great migration of people from the North uh, to the South is this chart uh, does so well to explain. Uh, the Sun Belt is the area that you see on this map from here down. So you can see where the arrows are pointing. It's your southernmost states and you can see that they have uh, enjoyed the largest percentages and change of population of anywhere else in the United States. And so more people are moving and living in the South and in the Southwest now than um, in the previous generations lived in the North. This completes the lesson on the impact of technological developments after World War II, Unit 10, Section 4.